All right, here we go. We're about to start. Okay, Oscar, look at this. Enter cockpit. Now, I'm flying a drone. This is in California. I'm in London, and I'm flying a drone from my own home. Press enter to launch. There we go. Three, two, one, lift off. This is real life. Oh, the quality is a little bit funny there. I'm lifting up. It's in autopilot mode right now. Wow. Uh, and the sound has gone funny. Press H to toggle HUD. I like the HUD. It's in autopilot right now, so that's uh, what we can just expect. It'll come out of autopilot in a sec. At the top right there is the, um, the geo fence, and I'm about to enter the geo fence when I'm allowed to fly it. Ooh. Okay. Give me a sec. Okay, autopilot's off. Okay, so now I can tr I look around, use my mouse. There we go. So I'm looking around. I'm going to look left. I look right, I mean. Look right. And uh, and sort of look where I came from a little bit. There we go. I think I came from over that point there. But I'm in the ge uh, geo fence. What I'm going to do is fly fly, for fly down low by pressing shift. See down the left, it's 36 metres high. 32, 31, 30, 29. I'm lower now. And I'm just going to fly along forwards there we go now I'm flying forwards so that that's that's me happening I'm gonna just gonna uh, your right not your right just gonna pan right a little bit using the D geofensive in effect okay I better go the other way not only that I'm gonna turn around now and I'm gonna look a little bit the other end of the geofence uh, and I'm gonna zoom in at those rocks down there by pressing the no, I'm trying to zoom in and stabilize at the same time. No, no, we go. Press number one. Now I can zoom in, so I can look at those rocks. And look, at the, and I can also just like just pan left a little bit like that. Oh, I'm in a geofence. Okay. I'm just gonna just. What does geofence mean? Uh, geofence means I uh, the the boundaries where I can't really go. Okay, oh, so okay. I'm just gonna like spy on that car on the hill there. A bit like what drones really do, what they're really good for. And I'm just moving around, and now I'm going to look at these houses down here. Yeah, there they are. Can't you can't? I'm zoomed in fully, so you can't really see any detail. But down on my right, I've got the zoom indicator. I'm just going to zoom out now by pressing two, like so. Zoom right out. I'm. Uh, well, let's. Uh, see how high we can go. I think I press space to go high. If I look on my left, my altitude's going up. Oh, wow. Like so. And I think... What happens if you crash the drone? Oh, you can't crash the drone because it's geofenced. The altitude's geofenced as well. Huh. But it's pretty cool. So wherever I... I sort of look where I want the house to go. I'm going to zoom in on that car park now. Because this is where the drone takes off from. That's about as far as I can go. But now I'm going to just well, I go back down again because it looks better when you go fast. I'm just going to start going forwards and I'm going to go down at the same time. So I'm going forwards here. Uh, that is controlling a drone in real time. Although this is a YouTube recording. I'm still going down and I'm zoomed in. I'm down to... So uh, down, I can't really see it because the ocean's in the way. It's down to minimum altitude. Okay, there we go. Minimum altitude enforced. Radio. Well, I'll, I can. I will continue going uh, further through the. Uh, I'm right on the boundary of the GF fence. Well, that is pretty cool. I mean, you can try this out too, but you might have to sort of register your interest. You go to cape.com. Okay. Um, they. I. I kind of registered my interest ages ago, so and I got access to it today or yesterday so now I'm trying it out and it's really really cool and I think that we're all going to be doing this eventually pretty soon we're all going to be having our own little drones that we can fly around and, and inspect our houses probably when we're not home but now we can look down the gaps oh that's so cool look at that geofence in effect wow. in the second well, I think I've got about another minute of flying left, and then it will let me. Um, well, look, I mean, look how versatile it is. I'm just going using the key, the keyboard. 
like WASD, left and right, and sort of forward and backwards, and then using the mouse to point where I want the camera to look. And that is pretty easy once you get used to it. And I just fly within the, the geo fence, which you can see in my top left, top right of the screen, fully zoomed in. Uh, I can't really see anybody, but this is somewhere in California. Don't really know where. I'm not really familiar with California. Is that people down there? Yeah, that is. That's people. Twelve seconds, eleven seconds, ten, nine, eight. That's the end of my flight in a minute. And you watch the autopilot will just take it back. See, no hands like that. Session ended. Autopilot. The autopilot flies it back all the way back to the to the car park where it started from. And they can watch that. So the video quality's gotten much better now. Because uh, I'm actually this is real time, a real time streaming from a po uh, from a drone which is in the air. You know, about one quarter of the world away from me. So I guess the latency is probably it's about a one second latency. I guess it's slightly sluggish, about by one second, and that's not a problem really. Yeah, okay, it comes down. Can I still look? I can't really look. I've lost control completely. Look at that! Like a caravan park, trailer park behind my head. There's a bus. It's like a nice sunny morning in California, and it's the afternoon here in London. Yeah, it's now someone else's turn. Cool. That was cool. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and share. Remember to share the videos.